Well, good morning. My name's Stephen. Thank you for joining us on this YouTube and training video. Um, we're here today to help you understand a few different things, and I've done these to help people understand how these system, mechanical systems work, about the Greener Home Program. But today we're going to specifically be talking about how the ventilation system works in most homes, and in particular about the fresh air intake. So I'm at a home here. We're going to go down to the mechanical room. We're going to have a look at how the uh, fresh air intake is connected. Why is there fresh air intake? Maybe different ways to improve the energy efficiency of the home by controlling the ventilation system. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what is fresh air intake? Why do we have it? And then look at the different choices. So if you had an energy advisor in your house, he's probably spoken to you about this already. And this is really just to expand on that information. So let's start off having a look at what is a fresh air intake. Let's just flip the camera around. Okay, so what we'll have a look at here is this is the fresh air intake from outside. Let's have a quick look at what we can actually see. As you can see, the opening from the outside there has got spray foam to make sure it's well sealed. What we're specifically talking about today is that fresh air intake. That's that pipe duct. Um, if you need a better look at it there, that is the duct that has the plastic cover on it. You can see it's a six inch diameter fresh air intake. Okay, so fresh air intake, meaning outside air comes into your home. Um, the other duct adjacent to it, this one here, has a supply air register. That's a supply air, and this comes into the return air side of the ductwork. Because it's on the return air, there's a negative pressure in the ductwork, and therefore this will be bringing outside air in because that duct where it goes into is in the negative pressure. But let's have a quick look at the furnace itself. That's the back side of the furnace. Um, on the right hand side is the supply air, that's where the humidifier is connected to. You can see the supply air comes off. Um, and then on the left hand side, that is the return air. And in this case, the humidistat has been connected on the return air because that gives us a better average humidity of the home. So not a bad place to connect it. Um, the alternative is to connect it to something like an Ecobee thermostat, which has a ability to adjust the humidity based on outside air uh, temperature. So that's called an ambient reset. The other thing that I'd like to point out while we're here, you can see most of the joints on the ductwork have been uh, sealed with a foil tape, not duct tape. Duct tape will dry out and come loose. And um, why? Because we want to get the heat to where we want it. But that's not really what today's whole conversation is about. What we want to talk about today is about how do we control that ventilation air and the fresh air coming in. Again, if you've had an evaluation done by one of our team at the VT Group, either Vertitech or Acacia Engineering, they would have discussed this with you. And I just want to really reinforce the uh, knowledge that they have passed on to you and expand on that. So I'll be back now. I just want to talk to you from the other side of the camera. Okay, so here we are, we're back now and then get a chance to actually chat to you a little bit. So why do we actually care about the fresh air intake? So one of the things we almost always recommend is running that furnace fan, maybe not continuously, but on a regular basis. The furnace fan should be controlled from the thermostat. You can put it on a schedule. Why would we want that? The idea is if we're mixing the air in the house, we bring in more, uh, we're moving air around, we get better filtration as it goes through the return air. Um, it gets filtered every single time, but you also get more even temperature throughout the house. The house I'm standing in right now is a two-story back walkout, one furnace, which means we need to mix it so we don't get that stack effect that creates different pressures and temperatures without the home. Mixing it up, running it on a more continuous basis. So if you're thinking about a furnace, and we're going to talk about furnaces as a totally separate conversation, make sure you get one with an ECM motor. Um, that's a motor that will um, use a little bit of energy, but it runs slowly um, and it mixes the air all the time. But if you're going to do that, think about what's going to happen. We were showing you earlier on about that return air that was there. That's always under a negative pressure if the furnace fan is running. So what you can do is you can get something like this, and this is called a Hoimi damper. Um, what I mean by that is, or that's, the, sorry, the manufacturer on that is a guy out of cameras. Cliff Hoimi is the guy who makes these. I'm sure there are other brands out there as well. Um, but this is a Hoimi make-up air damper. We're not talking about the combustion air damper. We're talking about the make-up air damper. So what this does, this is wired such that it's connected to the furnace so that when the furnace heating system is on, the damper opens up. So there the damper is in normal open position. They can order them different ways. But when the damper, it, when the heating is on and only when the heating is on, you would be able to open up the fresh air damper. 
That means fresh air would come in from outside that we were looking at earlier. Fresh air comes in from outside, goes through, gets heated up and doesn't show up as cold air. The problem with running the furnace fan almost continuously is that when the heating is not on, you get this cold air coming through your registers because it hasn't been preheated, it's just being mixed. It is actually a code requirement today. On any brand new home, they must put in one of these dampers. It is a requirement today. So if you've got an older home and it hasn't got in, I would recommend when they're doing a furnace upgrade or you're doing some maintenance or even a draft proofing on your house, think about getting a Hoime, that's H-O-Y-M-E, uh, make up air or fresh air intake da uh, damper. That's what these look like. I would actually recommend mounting it closer to the outside. This one here would be closer to the inside and, it, and this would only open when the furnace fan is actually heating. So that meets code requirements, gives you the fresh air when the fan is running, but when you're just circulating the air, the damper is closed. How does this tie into the greener home program? Well, one of the things that is in the Green Home Program is draft proofing, draft proofing, air sealing, call it whatever you want. And one of the things is when we do a blower door test, which is part of the services we offer is the Greener Home Program grants, um, is when we run a negative pressure test with the blower door, as it stands now in this house without this damper being installed, we would measure that as air leakage. However, once that is installed, that would actually close that off and that only is air leakage, which is not air leakage at that moment, when the furnace fan is running. So it is closed whenever the heating system is off. So you would measure that as also air leakage improvement. So one is gonna make your house more comfortable. It's gonna save your energy. It's gonna allow you to run those furnace fans on a continuous basis, which we strongly recommend to be able to do. And that will help you. So think about a Hoi damper, think about your fresh air intake, understand the concept of bringing it in when you're heating it up. Um, it's going to get the other thing, there is other controls you can do with this. You could in the summer months connect this to a temperature sensor for outside. So when it's uh, cooler outside, you can get some free cooling. It's just a different way of wiring it. So we'll do the exact same thing that we're talking about right now, that when the furnace fan is on but no heating is called, no fresh air is coming in. However, you have either a switch, which could be a manual switch, or a thermostat that says you want some cooling in the house, you can allow fresh air in, and that would be great for places like Calgary, places that get cooler maybe in the evening, and you can take advantage of free cooling. So one more time, just to recap, this is your fresh air intake. It's your it's a Hoime, H-O-Y-M-E damper. They're manufactured right here in Canada. Um, they don't sell them directly from the factory as far as I know, but feel free to go to their website, talk to your heating contract. It's gonna help you on draft proofing or air sealing. It's gonna make your house more comfortable. And I strongly recommend that you run your furnace fan on a more regular basis and have those controls. We, in a little bit in one of our other videos, we're gonna talk about furnaces and selecting your furnaces. And by having that ECM motor, and running it on a more regular basis, that's part more of a furnace selection. So if you really upgrade your furnace, you may not just need the damper. If you haven't, when you talk about furnaces, do this at the same time. So once again, thank you for watching my videos. Again, this is the VT group of companies. One of the easiest way to find us is energyexperts.ca. This ties into the Greener Homes program. Hopefully this will help you there. Go to our website, energyexperts.ca. We're part of the VT group, which is Vertitech, Qualistat, and Acacia Engineering. Qualistat is a building on the Lopen Consulting Company. Have a look what they do. We've got some great videos there with Daryl, which shows you things about attic rain, other things that you may want to know about John. Signing off again, please watch our YouTube channel and thank you for watching. And my name's Steven from Vertec. Cheers.